Shalom. I hope you are keeping safe and well. Have you played this game before? It is called Snack and Leather. We played when we were very young. And very young kids actually know how to play this because this board game is pretty simple. The rules are simple, straightforward, nothing complicated at all. So what is the objective of this game? The game here is actually for you to reach your final destination, that is 100, the fastest. So everybody will get a chance and start the same footing from want. And they will take a, they will take turns to throw the dice. And based on the dice, the number that appears on the dice, you will move accordingly. Each player has been given a token that represents them. Different colors so that you can identify, differentiate who you are. And you take your turns to throw the dice and move along. As you move along, what do you need to avoid and what do you do? Forward two. First, number one, you need to avoid the snakes. Not the tail, but the head, because that's where you will be eaten up by the snake and go back very far. What you look forward to is actually the ladder. For example, at the very beginning, you have a ladder, a square four. If you hit square four, you move all the way up to 35. Move forward by 31 step. I believe you have played this game and you find it most challenging is towards the end when you are about to reach the final destination. And here, in fact, on this board, so we can see there are snake head on 91, 94, 96, 98, where the snake's heads are located, and you try to avoid this. But based on the dice which you throw, sometimes you are not so lucky, you might hit it on 98. A or 96, especially you are about to finish the game. And I think the frustration we've gone through, especially hit to end up 100 exactly. So some of us might be ahead and then be trying, 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 keep on going forward, backward, forward, backward, just to get to 100. But the game basically is simple. There are set rules. You just have to follow the rules to play the game. Keep throwing the dice until we reach 100. That is what we need to do because we don't give up because we are almost there and we know the destination is 100 very clear cut you may ask Uncle B what are you trying to tell us with this board game well this board game for me is actually a very good reminder for us that we should not give up when we know the objective is very clear we know where we're going and we shouldn't give up this board game is something like our life journey as we progress through life, there are times where we move very fast, there are times we move forward, there are times we move backward. But at the end of the day, we should not give up. For us Christian, as we talk about it, that is where our final destination is. Especially now we're in the month of November and we talk about all saints, we talk about all souls. And we are actually pilgrim on earth, moving towards that final destination. That is our ultimate goal. That is our ultimate destination. To be in heaven, to be with the Father, to be in heaven. That's where we are made for. We are all made for heaven. All by the generosity and the grace of God. Since we are in the month of November, we celebrate All Saints Day on the first day of November paying tribute to the heroes of the church who led a life of heroic virtue in a consistent and exceptional ways. They are the heroes of the church. How do they get to become saints? Saints are not born but are made. And saints are actually just like you and me, human, who live on this earth, died and eventually make the way to heaven. What is a saint? By definition, a saint is a person who died, or we call them the faithful departed, who have reached the final destination, heaven. And the church have made a lot of saints a strong model for us to follow, so that for us to come to make our way to the final destination easier because they are showing the way. The role models are already there. They have proven the path that that's how they get to heaven. So we can read about them and 
learn from them how to get to heaven, the SOP heaven. In fact, to be saints is not an impossible task because God had made us for heaven. Our role model have done a lot of things on earth. So let's look at what are the common things that saints do when they are on earth so that we can follow their footsteps. What do they have in common? Saints were like you and I when they were on earth. Number one, they are human. They are sinners. They are filled with God's love. They love others as well as God's creation. They are prayerful people. They are humble. They are also risk takers as well. But above all, they were not perfect. Which means we have hope too because we are not perfect. Saints are made not born. And another saying says, sinners have a future because saints have a past. So since I'm a sinner, I have a future. Yes, sinners have future and I'm so glad because I am a sinner and heaven is waiting for me. All we need to do now is to say yes to God's will and follow through. I'm Uncle V, serving you laksa for our jiwa. Selamat Panjamu Selera, happy eating, holy living. <laughs>